Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make um, a really simple model uh, using all the um, tips, well, some of the tips that I've um, mentioned so far in previous videos, and we're just going to create a Lego head. So we'll press Shift and S and put the cursor to the center. So it puts it in the center of the stage, and then we'll press Shift A and we'll add in a cylinder. And what we'll do is we'll leave it uh, this size for now. There's no point in worrying too much about scale. Um, and I'm not going to use a background image on this. I just want to show you how to create it from scratch. So we'll press S to scale and Z to keep it on the Z axis. Just shrink it down a little bit. Tab into edit mode. We'll select the top face and the bottom face. And press X and delete the face. So we're left with that. And then we'll grab the edge. In fact, we'll grab the vertex and we'll press Alt and left click, uh, right click rather. So we select that whole ring. Either that or you can uh, turn this button on here and just select the whole top. And we'll press E to extrude, Z to keep it on the Z plane, the Z axis, S to scale in, and then. E to extrude, S to scale, and we'll bring it about here, and then E, Z, scale up, Let's drag up rather, extrude up, and then we'll press E, S, bring it in, and then we're going to press E again to extrude, Z to go down, and we're not going to see this, so we'll just take it to about there for now. And then to close that off, we're just going to press E to extrude, S to scale all the way down, press F to create a face, and then just add some loop cuts by pressing Control R, and we'll say four loop cuts, so type in four, and click. So that is the top part, and then the bottom part, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Select all of those bottom vertices, press E to extrude, Z down, and S to scale in. This isn't exact, obviously. Uh, e to extrude, S to scale in, and I think the heads, yeah, they go up. So E, then Z to scale up, and then we'll do the same thing. E to extrude, S to scale down. Press F to close that off, and then create some loop cuts. Okay, so that is a very basic Lego head. And to make it smooth and nice, we're going to go here, add modifier, subdivision surface, change the view to subdivisions 2. It looks like a barrel. We'll go over here to, if you haven't got that up, press T and press smooth, smooth shading. And then we'll tab into edit mode and then we're going to create loop cuts. So we'll press Control R, we'll bring that all the way up. Well, not all the way up, kind of just about there. Control R, bring that down. Control R on this one. And basically all around. If you don't want to see all the geometry behind, all the vertexes and stuff, just press uh, this button down here. And that will show us just the ones we want to see. Drag that in. Drag this. Oops, that's the problem. Don't press Alt-R because it does that. I don't even know what Alt-R is. It just does, like, a big curve. So I've not got into that yet. So, But I do it a lot by accident. And that's the top part and the bottom part. Just loop cuts, loop cuts, loop cuts, loop cuts. Everywhere. And there we go. So now we've got these kind of nice sharp edges all around. And if we just 
view that, we can add some color to it. Just go over here and add a material. Uh, new, and change the color to yellow or something. Oh, that's not yellow. And we might as well add in a glossy shader. So we'll just click on this triangle up here, drag it across, and change the view to node editor. Press N to get rid of this. Zoom in using the scroller. And we'll just add in a, we'll press Shift A, add in a mixed shader. And Shift A, add in a glossy. Let's plug them in. And it's obviously a bit too much, so we'll just change this to say 0.04 and probably do that to the same. And that's just a basic color, but if we added in a plane at the bottom there, pretty make it easier to see. There we go. So that's a basic basic model. Just just going through the uh, tips that um, I've already given you in the last few tutorials. That is how to make a simple little model. And you could obviously go into like bump mapping and stuff, which uh, be another tutorial, make it look real. But for now, that's just to get you started.